in the previous tutorial we did a simple gradient background. Let's go back into background styles, format background, and click gradient fill again. We previously had three gradients and just worked on moving those around a little bit, changing the color throughout this area. If you double click inside this color bar, you'll add more sliders. You can adjust the color of any one of these and simply click and choose a color and every time you double click you'll get a new color to add to your background and you can obviously move those around and really create some very unique looking backgrounds. To delete any one of these sliders, click on it and press the delete key. Backspace does not work. You actually have to use delete to get rid of these. Okay. There are also preset colors in the gradient fill dialog box. If you click the arrow next to preset colors, you will see some color schemes that have been created by Microsoft. You can also choose the type, whether it's linear, radial, which is circular, rectangular, path, or from title. And underneath each one of these, you have a direction to choose from. You can see with radial, you can go from the center out or from any one of the corners. Go ahead and choose one of the preset color schemes or create your own gradient and click close. We're going to add a texture on the next slide. 